everybody welcome back this is Lexi over at the Podunk Paper File and this is going to be part two um, of putting together the beehive sunflowers and honeybees junk journal that I've been putting together so last time we got to a point where we have all the pages lined up and everything like that now we just need to sew them into the journal and so I am gonna do that um, I got some needles I find these in the like crochet area of Joann's or wherever you're going to get them. Um, that's just, that's where I've had the best luck to find these big, huge Shongen needles for a really good price. So, and then I got this wax cotton cord from, um, from <sighs> Tandy's, which is a leather place. And yeah, that's where I got the wax cord from. Um, you can use pretty much anything. I just like using the wax cotton cord. So anyways, I am going to grab my chopper and we're going to measure up some holes. Today I want to use graph paper and use it to make holes. Normally I just, uh, you know, go all willy nilly, but since this is an exposed spine, I thought, well, maybe I could make it cute, you know? And so that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, move everything. Jeez, it's like I haven't cleaned my desk in a month. So what I like to do is measure. Measure. I think this was three quarters of an inch. Yeah. That's right. Let's see it was. So I just want to see how if these are true to size. Yeah. So we need four. Four of these. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I can probably just cut it out too. All righty then. Now I'm gonna measure this on just the black portion, probably. Um, oh, hang on. I almost had it. Wait, I want to center it. So let's see. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just make it the whole thing fit. So I need to cut this part off. Now we only have two signatures. <clears throat> so here's my little template, basically. Oh, I'm going to now mark where I want my signatures to go. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half this way. Okay. And then I'm going to fold it in half again. <clears throat> and now I'm to a point where I should have three folds. Yes, I do. Okay. Now they're not perfectly on the line, uh, the graph. It's fine. It's going to be fine because I cut it and it was wonky. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to use this and so this is center. So I'm going to do one over here and one over here. Is that going to leave too much space between the two signatures? I feel like it might. So I might actually bring it in a little bit, just a little bit. Okay. Now where's the next fold? It's up here. So instead of going right on the line, I'm going to bring it in just a bit. Remember, we're eyeballing it here. Nothing needs to be perfect. Nothing is perfect. We don't need perfection here. We just need kind of close. That'll do. All right. Boom, baby. Now, if you wanted to do, uh, you know, a five. Well, it is an exposed spine. Should I do five, like, instead of just three. I think I'm going to do five instead of three. So you get it to this point again and you fold it one more time. That way you're going to have even spacing between everything. Yep. And then on your fold, you're going to do your marks. And wait, no, mm -mm, that wasn't right because look, see,
Okay. I'm not going to do these two because it wasn't equally spaced and I think that would look weird. Ooh, unless I put like spine jewelry. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm keeping it. We're going to work with what we got here, okay? It's not a mistake. It's a happy accident. There was a wise man that I once knew and that's what he said. There are no mistakes in painting. Just happy accidents. That's what he said, but we're not painting and it's okay. I think he'd approve. I miss Bob Ross, y'all. I do. He was a good egg. You know who else I really miss? Robin Williams. So much. Like, I watch his old movies and I literally get sad. I'm like, man, like you were such a part of my life. Like, it was. it's amazing to me how big of a part of my life Robin Williams was, like of all people, you know? Like, he didn't even know me. But, man, he was always there in my house. I don't know about y'all. Mrs. Doubtfire, like, get out of here. Uh, hook. Uh, Flubber. I watched Flubber the other day. Get out of here. I was bawling. I hate, I hate it when he's in movies because it makes me sad, but I also love seeing him again, you know? But, anyway. Oh, I got my entire... I just have a mess over here. Okay, so what I did is I just used some washi tape and I taped this down. And now I'm just going to punch my holes. Ah, uh, okay. We made it through that. Now, because I'm so shaky today, um, I think I'm going to just use my... I have a bead reamer that I used, I used in the very beginning, and I think I'm gonna use that now because, like, I am so shaky, that was hard. What in the, where in the world did it go? Well, last time I checked, I put it in here. Oh, children. Okay, let me go find that, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, I found my bead reamer. Um, it was in the bead section. It's a tool and it's a bead reamer and it works as a dowel. A dowel? What am I thinking? Is that the right word? Anyway. Um, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I've already got my holes po poked for this. So I'm going to now take my washi tape off and take this thing, and I'm probably not gonna tape it per se to the doodad, the who's it and the whatnot, you know. I'm going to, so these are my pages. Now, it kind of annoys me that they're all like that, but mm, it's cool. All right, and then I wanna take my ruler, and I'm just gonna Make sure everything's in there nice and tight, like that. And then we grab, oopsie, I need you. Well, you know what? Tape that so it doesn't stick everywhere. All right, so now I've got, I'm gonna go ahead and clip this side. And probably the other side too would be good. I got these clips at the dollar store a long time ago, but who knows if they still have them or not. All right, and then I'm just going to take this, put it right in there, and, you know, poke the holes. So, there we go. Now we've got our holes in this as well. I know you can't see them very good, but they are indeed there. And I am going to leave it clipped so that it my pages don't slide around because um, we had to make some taller and some lower as you can recall. So now we're going to do that same process to this one. I'm not too worried about perfection here but because the spine is looking good but you know whatever you got to do that makes you happy in these moments. Okay. Now we've got all of our holes. We can start to string them up. And 
um, let's see. So I chose this cord because it's brown and it's pretty and it kind of just goes along with the theme. So we'll need about three spine links. One, two, three. And I kind of just grab maybe like, you know, a couple inches extra just to be safe. You always want more, too much, and not enough. Too much, more, you want too much, you don't want to have not enough. <laughs> All right, and then you just feed it through a tiny bit like this. Because if you double up the string, it's not going to work like you do, like, you know, when you're sewing and stuff. Okay, remember how I said I was gonna do beads? Well, I tried and I rode the struggle bus pretty hard. Um, so I'm not gonna do beads anymore. I'm just completely throwing that idea away and we're gonna go down through the center and up through the second one. Oh, great. Oh no, now my holes aren't lined up. up again all is well with the world okay so down center up through second okay and then we're gonna go down through the top one through the second one sorry back through the second one and try not to get your do not get your string with your needle because you'll be you'll be sad it won't look so it won't be the best okay and then we go All right, now we're going to take it and not go through center again. We're gonna go down through this second to last one. Okay, and then up through this one. And then down through this <clears throat> second to last one again. Right here. Being careful not to pierce my thread. And up through center one last time. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right, now I'm gonna pull everything. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and tight here because we want everything so this piece is really loose so I'm trying to tighten that right now okay there we go that's pretty tight and boom that looks great okay and you only need two knots here so if you go over and then you go the opposite way. And there we have it. There is my signature all put in. Now let's do the last one. And then this book should be ready to start decorating. One, two, and a three. Hey, Mr. Owl. I'll never not quote things, okay? It just is the way I am. It's the way my brain works. I gotta go to the doctor tomorrow because he says I, I have ADHD. Weird. 
Never would have guessed that in a million years. I hope you've been able to see this this whole time. Oh, geez. Okay. Now, same thing for this one, and I will be right back. Now I have both my signatures in there and I have everything in there pretty tight. I just wanna go through and kinda just try and train the pages a little bit um, so that, you know, just give it some flexibility. This way also you can um, see me flipping through it once, which will be fun. I love this page, it's so pretty. And there's plenty of, definitely plenty of writing space in this as well. A lot of beautiful pages, but lots of space and room, obviously, to write stuff as well and add fun, funness to all of it. Okay. Oh, this is just so fun and so pretty. I'm really happy with how this um, digi kit turned out. It's so cute. And I'll link it again below in this video as well for you so it's not too hard to find. Um, oh, these are so fun. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just training the pages so that um, the book will be a little more cooperative for me. That's all I'm doing here. And I didn't add a whole lot of variety. Most of this um, little book that we made together here is DigiKit. <laughs> and I kind of like it that way because it leaves a lot of room to add and create more, you know. But I also added some vintage pages and some field guide pages and things like that. So see, there's even room to write there. You could jot all kinds of things on this page if you really wanted to. put little notes and quotes around here. Highlight something you might like or didn't know about anything. Like a gypsy moth, that's cool. <gasps> I can write on the Edith Holden if you must. Draw, doodle, whatever you want here, really. I mean, options are endless. Oh, these are so pretty, so fun. Okay. I'm working on another digi kit right now. Uh, going to be like a butterflies theme. Um, are there any themes that you guys can think of that would be fun to put in my shop or something you'd be interested in purchasing? Like if I had a theme, is there something in particular you're looking for? Uh, let me know in the comments below because I, I run out of ideas and if I'm making something for someone else, I tend to do a lot better. <laughs> so I have a friend reach out and she's like, do butterflies. And I was like, you freaking bet. I absolutely would love to do it. That one's such a pretty page. Butterfly. Oh, Millie. Hi, Millie. Hi. My dog's in here. Hi, baby girl. All right. And there we have our beautiful journal, Beehive honey, Sunflowers and Honey Bees Junk Journal. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. Uh, maybe next time we can start decorating with some of these cool things that I have. Like I could put this on a some cardstock and make it a bookmark or, um, you know, there's lots of fun things that we can do going forward. But um, I think Millie's up here because she's hungry. Millie, are you hungry? Are you a hungry girl? Do you guys want to see her? Hang on. Millie, come here. And here she is. This is a baby dog. Millie. <laughs> Isn't she cute? <laughs> oh, I just love her too much. Anyway, this is my little buddy. She's so cute and I love her too much. She's just a little old lady. And so I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. Say bye. Say bye, everybody. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, bye everyone.